Hi dear students, in this session we can discuss soil degradation. Okay, in this session we can discuss soil degradation. We know that soil is a crucial natural resource and it serves as a foundation for all terrestrial life. Okay, is an important natural resource and it's give foundation for all terrestrial life. And uh, the soil degradation, okay, soil degradation is a serious environmental problem. Okay, it's a serious environmental problem because uh, we told that uh, in us, uh, the soil is a foundation for all terrestrial life. So, it's a, uh, soil degradation is a serious environmental problem and uh, avoiding uh, soil degradation is vital to our safety. Okay, uh, so it's essential to avoid the soil degradation. Okay, and uh, soil degradation is the loss of fundamental physical, chemical and or biological property of uh, soil by either ni uh, neither natural or human activity. Okay, is a f uh, is a soil degradation is a loss of fundamental physical, chemical or biological qualities uh, of soil either by natural or human activity and. Uh, this soil degradation is caused by the soil's improper use or poor management for usually for agriculture or industrial or urban purpose and we told that soil degradation is a physical chemical and biological decline in soil quality and it can be okay soil degradation can be loss of organic matter decline in soil fertility and uh, uh, structural changes in structural condition of soil, uh, ero soil erosion, adverse changes in salinity, acidity or alkalinity and the effect of toxic chemicals, pollutants or excessive flooding. And uh, when we are talking about the soil degradation, there are several causes of soil degradation. Okay? So, uh, several reasons for soil degradation was one is uh, nutrient disorder, second one is, uh, ero is uh, soil erosion and third one is fertilizer misuse and uh, fourth one is uh, improper crop rotation, fifth one is ore grazing, uh, sixth mining and uh, salinity or alkalinity of soil and uh, eighth one is water logging. These are the main reasons of uh, soil degradation and we will discuss each one separately. First we can see the nutrient disorder. Uh, due to intense and mismanaged farming, soil nutrients are declining. Okay, due to intense and mismanagement farming, uh, soil nutrients are declining. And uh, if you are taking the nitrogen, okay, if you are uh, considering the nitrogen, the nitrogen store have been decreased by forty-two percentage, and phosphorus concentration is uh, decreased by twenty-seven percentage, and sulfur by thirty-three percentage. And the for the optimum growth of the plants, they require these nutrients for photosynthesis, enzymes, uh, protein synthesis, and more. Okay, uh, for the op optimum growth of the plants, they require nutrients for photosynthesis, enzymes, protein synthesis, and more. And we know that organic matter is rapidly decomposed and leached. And they are eroded by heavy rains, and that organic matter, uh, that uh, nutrients will be lost. Okay, organic matter is rapidly decomposed and leached, and that is eroded by heavy rains. And uh, according to the reports, most of the Indian soils are deficient in nutrients and uh, organic matter. Okay, most of the Indian soils are deficient in nutrients and uh, organic matter. As a result of declining soil fertility, okay, as a result of decline in the soil nutrients, the nutritional content of some fruits, vegetables and grains also be decreased, okay. As a result of uh, decreased soil fertility, that means soil nutrients, decreased soil nutrients, the nutritional contents of uh, some fruits, vegetables and grains also have been have also been compromised okay so also been compromised and uh, 
heavy rain also is one of the reason for the nutrient uh, decrease okay heavy rains also cause the nutrient decrease this is about the nutrient disorder next we can discuss the soil erosion okay soil erosion is the second cause of uh, soil degradation and uh, uh, soil erosion reduces the agricultural value of land via physical chemical degradation. Okay, and we know that uppermost layer of uh, soil is the fertile layer, and which contain essential minerals. And this element, elements, essential mineral elements will be lost by the soil erosion. And uh, reduced frequency of rains leads to leads to deforestation and that causes the soil erosion and when the soil is in steep slope or easily erodible area the destruction of natural vegetation will be the major factor that causes soil erosion by wind and water and in the pasture land overgrazing or in the forest cutting of timber trees collection of fuel wood shifting of cultivation of uh, forest area that will lead to loss of vegetation that's covered on the soil and that will lead to cause soil erosion okay that means destruction of uh, or destruction of natural vegetation that will lead to loss of uh, cover of the soil and that will lead to soil erosion the third cause is the fertilizer misuse okay soil degradation third cause is the fertilizer misuse and we know that intensive cultivation that is the decreased soil fertility okay intensive cultivation of crops that will lead to the decreased soil fertility and the farmers will use chemical fertilizers to use to maintain the soil fertility okay the farmers will use chemical fertilizers to maintain the soil fertility and the overuse of chemical fertilizers that can contribute to the soil acidification okay that leads to the soil acidification thereby reducing the content of organic matter reducing the content of humus and that leads to the, and uh, reducing the uh, beneficial species and stunting the plant growth and that will, uh, and that also cause altering the pH of the soil and that will uh, growing the pest okay so the soil loss of humus decrease its capacity to store nutrients okay now in other humus having the capacity to store the uh, nutrients and uh, the humus loss that will lose the capacity to, uh, to reduce the capacity of uh, soil to store nutrients and uh, the acidity of soil reduces the crops phosphate intake and that leads to raises the concentration of harmful ions in the soil and the acidity of soil that leads the inhibits the crop growth and over the time nitrogen fertilizers added in large quantity into the field that will kill the balance between the macronutrients nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and resulting in decreased crop yield okay if you are using the nitrogen fertilizer for a long time in the field that kills the balance between the three macronutrients nitrogen potassium and phosphorus and resulting in decreased crop yield of course is the improper crop rotation crop rotation refers to the practice of growing different types of crops in the same area over a sequence of season that means in the same area farmers will cultivate different crops in different season that is a crop rotation and uh, if the crop rotation is improper that is an important reason contributing to soil erosion in land under cultivation okay in the uh, in cultivating land uh, the improper crop rotation is a reason for the soil erosion we know that Due to land scarcity, population growth, and economic pressures, farmers have shifted away from more balanced cereal legume rotation towards intensive cropping pattern of commercial crops. Okay, and this intensive 
cultivation leads to removal of large quantities of nutrients from the soil which results into in loss of soil fertility okay so this intensive cultivation leads to removal of large quantities of nutrients from the soil which result to in loss of soil fertility cause is the overgrazing okay overgrazing this overgrazing can decrease ground cover of uh, land of soil and allowing wind and rain to erode the soil okay overgrazing by the cattle that will leads to decreased ground cover and that will allow wind and rain to erode the soil and uh, the overgrazing will reduce the ability for plants to grow and water to penetrate okay okay if the overgrazing will uh, leads to the reduce the uh, reduce the ability of ability for plants to grow and uh, water to penetrate which harms soil microbes and results in serious erosion of the land and uh, the unchecked unchecked and uh, indiscriminate grazing on forest land that leads to degradation of forest soil that is the unchecked and indiscriminate grazing on forest land that leads to the soil 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 erosion in the forest and next one is the mining okay mining is the next cause of soil degradation and the effect of mining in soil depends on the physical and the chemical and chemical nature of the waste generated okay the effect of mining in soil depends on the physical and the chemical nature of the waste generated from the mine and the mining will alter the physical chemical and biological properties of the soil okay mining waste that will alter the physical chemical and biological properties of the soil and the top soil will be go inside the dump hence the soil profile is reversed okay we know that uh, top soil will be highly fertile and on the time of uh, mining the top soil will go inside the dump so the soil profile will be reversed and the mining can result in soil erosion and contamination of soil okay the waste the mining will uh, leads the soil erosion and that also leads the contamination of soil and that contamination also will uh, affect the soil microflora and that also leads to soil erosion okay soil degradation the cause is the salinity okay next cause is the salinity in soil and water salinity is the presence of salt such as sodium chloride magnesium calcium phosphate and bicarbonates and there are two main types of salinity one is primary then that, that's nat naturally occurring salinity and second the second one is a secondary and that is resulting from human activities and uh, salinity will be directly and indirectly affect the plants okay Sal salinity will be directly and indirectly will be affect the plant and if the level of salt in the soil water is too high okay the soil water uh, uh, so salt is too high water may flow from the plant root back into the soil okay if the uh, soil containing high amount of salt then water will be flow from the root to the soil and the presence of salinity okay high amount of salinity in the soil that affect the availability of nutrients to the plant from the soil okay if the salinity is high in the soil then plant cannot be able to absorb the nutrients okay from the soil and next cause of soil degradation that is water logging okay water logging water logging is excess water in the root zone accompanied by nob condition okay water logging is the excess water in the root zone and uh, that will be accompanied by nob condition in that root zone and uh, the water logging that will leads to loss of soil structure we know that soil having some structure when water logging is occurred then soil structure will be changed and uh, this excess water 
okay at the time of there will be an excess water and this excess water will inhibit gases exchange with the atmosphere okay there will be some gas exchange between soil and atmosphere and that uh, gas exchange will be inhibited by this excess water and uh, the water logging will affect the plants in many ways okay uh, the plant, uh, this water logging will affect the plants in many many ways as uh, like uh, that leads to nutrient deficiencies or toxicities and that will lead to root death and that will lead to reduced growth or death of plants and of in the water logging there is a some source of water okay so there are some source of water for the that leads the uh, water logging uh, like uh, heavy rains and uh, or flows overland flows from canals and uh, dis water distribution system and the uh, tidal flooding also is a reason of this water logging okay and next we can see the impact of soil degradation okay impact of soil degradation the excessive soil degradation give rise to immediate and long term impact on the environment okay if uh, excessive degradation is occur that leads the immediate and long term impact on environment and uh, here i am listing some of the impact that is uh, occurred in the environment during the excessive soil degradation first one is land degradation will be occur okay land degradation will be occur due to the excessive soil degradation we know that here after year after year huge acres of land lost due to soil erosion contamination and pollution okay uh, huge acres of land lost uh, due to soil erosion soil contamination and pollution and the second impact is a drought and aridity okay drought and aridity are the problems are highly influenced and amplified by soil degradation okay and the third impact is a loss of arable land okay loss of arable land that means agriculture land uh, the soil land degradation contribute to land degradation it also means that it creates a significant loss in arable land and the fourth one is the increased flooding okay increased flooding is the uh, next impact and the transformed land is unable to soak up water making flooding more frequent okay uh, after the soil degradation uh, the soil uh, structure will be changed and this transformed soil or transformed land is cannot able to soak up water so flooding will be occur and the next one is the next impact is the pollution and clogging of waterways okay pollution and clogging of waterways now so during the soil degradation soil will be eroded from the land and that is the chemical fertilizers and that will be discharged into waterways and streams okay this chemical fertilizers will lead to the uh, water uh, pol pollution and this eroded soil that will clog in the waterways and uh, that will block the uh, water flow and that le leads to uh, water scarcity okay the sedimentation process can clog waterways and resulting in water scarcity and in extreme case uh, the next impact is uh, in extreme case the soil become unfit for cultivation okay the extreme soil degradation is occur in an area then that soil will be unfit for cultivation and the seventh impact is a soil degradation have a adverse impact on the environment okay soil degradation has an adverse impact on the environment because it affect global climate through alteration in water cycle energy balances and uh, distribution of carbon nitrogen and sulfur cycle okay seventh one is soil degradation has an adverse impact on the environment because it affect global climate through alternate alteration in the water cycle energy balances and uh, disruption of carbon nitrogen and sulfur cycle these are the impact of soil degradation in the environment 
so we discussed the soil degradation different causes of soil degradation and the impact of uh, soil degradation now we can see the management of uh, soil degradation okay uh, by using healthy practices and in and using the land in a healthy way we can manage the soil deterioration okay by using uh, the land in a healthy way and uh, by employing the healthy practices we can uh, control the soil degradation and IFSM using IFSM that means through the integrated soil fertility management effort we can increase the nutrient uptake of plants we can improve the soil fertility and uh, inorganic resistance which leads to improvement in the land efficiency and productiveness and uh, management techniques like uh, fencing fertilizer application placement of salt and supplement that can uh, improve uh, that can decrease the soil degradation and uh, burning can control overgrazing by animals and leads to improve soil fertility and uh, uh, irrigation system management can helps to reduce the land degradation and if you are giving irrigation system and the irrigation must be controlled okay, like uh, uh, for example drip irrigation that can be used to decrease the soil and water erosion and uh, using low and high salt water was the most efficient way for maintaining the clay soil productive capacity and acid soil can be managed by keeping an eye on pH of the soil okay we can check the pH of the soil and we have to learn how much acidity this plants can tolerate and use neutralizers to prevent the acidity and the saline soil can be managed by flooding and leaching of uh, soluble salt by good irrigation water and uh, keep the soil always moist okay saline uh, soil can be managed by flooding and leaching of the salt and uh, keep the uh, saline soil always al always moist and uh, at the time of city expansion at the, at the time of city expansion use vertical expansion instead of horizontal expansion okay at the time city at the time of city expansion use horizontal uh, sorry vertical expansion instead of horizontal expansion that means adopt apartments concept instead of individual bungalow concept okay use apartment instead of individual bungalows and uh, degradation of water logging can be managed by proper drainage facility okay that means proper drainage facility can manage the degradation by water logging okay and uh, the sewage sludge water industrial waste effluent should be treated before used for irrigation okay if you are using uh, this uh, sewage sludge or water or industrial waste for the uh, we are, if you are dumping into the soil you have to treat okay you have to treat otherwise it will it will go for the uh, it will act as a contaminant so uh, you have to treat this waste before dumping into the soil then we can prevent the toxic contamination and uh, physical as well as cultural practices are followed to prevent the wind as well as water erosion okay physical as well as cultural practices are followed to prevent the wind as well as water washing among these practices counter tillage counter bedding uh, consists of check dams terrace farming can be adopted in this physical as well as cultural practices so that these are the management uh, practices that can be that we can follow uh, to reduce the degradation of soil so I hope you understood this class. Thank you. Thank you for listening.